Hey folks, Randy here with BBQGuys.com. We're on location today at one of our customers' houses where I want to show you some key things to keep in mind when in the planning stages of your outdoor kitchen. In this video, we'll give you a glimpse of how this project comes together. Let's get to it. When the Watson family set out to design their home, they were lucky enough to be able to plan for an outdoor kitchen on their patio during the home building phase. They had a decent sized space for an eight foot island, which will definitely fit the outdoor entertaining essentials. When we arrived at the patio, the initial structure of this island was already built, but they had already done all of their planning ahead of time. The first step of building any outdoor kitchen is to decide on what pieces of equipment you plan on installing. Before running the plumbing or laying the first brick of this island, the Watson family decided on a gas grill with double access doors, a fridge, and a sink with a single access door. The Watsons elected not to go with a vent hood, though they may install one down the road. We always recommend you consider a vent hood if you're building your outdoor kitchen under a roof, to keep as much smoke as possible away from your guests. To get a good visual on how your kitchen will look and ensure what you choose will fit in your space, our BBQ Guys experts can provide a 3D sketch of your design. This is a great thing to have in your back pocket to show your contractor when it comes to visualizing the final project. In the Watson's case, we recommended that they went with a structure that was 8 feet wide and 36 inches high, along with the standard measurements of 30 inches deep, allowing for proper lid clearance to this non-combustible hardy plank wall. Safety tip here, for combustible back walls, always check your grill's owner's manual for proper clearance. Once the design was settled, the next step was to have licensed professionals run the utilities. On this island, they had the water drain and plumbing for the sink ran to the left side, the gas plumbing to the middle, right underneath where the grill would go, and their electricity was run on the right side, where they would put their fridge. They also decided on an outlet up above the countertop on the right side to accommodate the rotisserie motor for the gas grill. Look at how well they lined up with where the walls were ultimately built. This is due to good planning. Once the utilities were in place, they could now start building the island. The Watsons chose brick walls with a granite countertop. This is a common choice for non-combustible building materials. When the brick masons are building the walls of the island, it is very important that they do so to the exact cutout specs of the equipment you choose. In addition to referencing the manufacturer's cutout dimensions, it's good practice to have all of your equipment at the job site so that your installer can be 100% certain of his cuts. On this island, they laid the brick wall leaving a cutout for the single access door under the sink, a double access door under the grill, and the opening for the fridge. If you plan on installing a fridge, always make sure to follow your fridge manufacturer's cutout requirements to ensure proper ventilation. We always recommend an outdoor rated fridge with front venting. The Watsons had a refrigerator already that they'll use for now but will consider an outdoor rated model down the road. When planning the cutout for the grill, it is imperative to do so with the exact thickness of your countertop in mind. You don't want to measure from the top of the brick wall. You want to measure from the top of the countertop to ensure your grill rests at the proper height. Another thing to keep in mind guys, a lot of grill manufacturers list a cutout height measurement that allows for the gap beneath the grill for combustion air. All right, the granite guys are here. The Watson selected an undermount sink, so these guys will glue it directly to the granite and let it sit at the same time that they adhere the rest of the countertop. The countertop only takes about 30 minutes to set, so while that happens, this is a good time to double check your measurements for the grill cutout. As the saying goes, measure twice and cut once. Once the main cutout is made, don't forget to notch the corners, allowing your grill to sit flush when installed. The last thing the stone workers will do here today is drill the hole for the faucet. All right, looking good. This project is really starting to come together. Well, the water and drain lines are hooked up and ready to go, and the gas plumbing is being connected. We always recommend this be done by a licensed professional. Once all the connections are made, testing for leaks is an important step. This is done with a spray bottle filled with soapy water. With the gas turned on, all of the connections are sprayed. If no bubbles form, that means the lines are free of leaks. To show you what a leak looks like, we purposely loosened the fitting that you see here. Now it's time to set in the grill. 
A lot of people are surprised to find out that the weight of most built-in grills is supported by the flange that rests directly on the countertop with no underbracing. Because this patio is set up for natural gas, the safety vent panels are installed toward the top of the island. For islands fueled by propane, the vent panel should be installed as low in the cavity as possible. Now we'll install the access doors. Remember, access doors like this are a must. They allow you to reach your gas plumbing when needed. If your island is brick like this one, you'll want to use an impact drill and masonry screws. After the frame is installed, secure the handles to the door and we can move on to mounting the single access door under the sink. In addition to providing access to the plumbing, these doors allow for some convenient storage space. All that's left to do is to plug in the fridge and slide it into the cutout. Well guys, we finished the project of our outdoor kitchen and as you can see, it turned out great. I hope this video helps you with the planning process. If you have any questions, give our experts a call or visit us online. And remember, at bbqguys.com, we smoke the competition.